YouTube, I uh, currently hate my teammates. Look at Moach. Do you guys hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but listen to what the fuck we're listening to. Struggle. And then we gotta get over there. But, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Peace! I can't end the video! Alright, guys, what's up, YouTube? I know I haven't done this in a while, and I know I should have done this a while ago. Um, this is an SD class setup video. Um, I haven't changed my classes since uh, the night before, which I was playing uh, wager matches. I was playing uh, Fizzer, Miracles, Killa, and um, Spacely from the night before. Um, we played like a few wager matches, and uh, we went last map every single one of them, too. We ended up only winning one, but you know, I'm just going to show you the classes I use. Um, these aren't always the classes I will use 100%, but you know, this is the classes I'd use for certain situations. Um, this right here is my first, see, uh, if you notice, don't look at the names, uh, the titles of the class, it says, like, AR Fast Tack. I don't even have Tack Mask on, so, just ignore the names, but this is one of my favorite classes, um, I, I love to roam the map, I am uh, always, I'm a really aggressive player in s &D, so, uh, this is my Remington class, you know, uh, I got pretty much just Remington, Red Dot, Muzzle Break, um, if you don't have a really good shot with, muzzle, with, uh, with a Remington, I'd suggest using a foregrip. But uh, muzzle brake just because it does more damage at range, and, but it does have a little bit more recoil. Um, and then I have a pistol just to roam around the map quicker. Um, see, if you look at my perks, I have ready up, marathons, to, uh, marathon, quick draw, dead silence to focus. And the reason I have this, I don't have agility on, so I'm still gonna. If the reason I have a pistol is so I can run around the map. I take out my pistol and I can run around the map uh, almost as quick as a SMG player. So I don't feel like I need agility. Um, that way I, I save two perks and only use like take one spot from it and I got a pistol. Um, right now I have the M9, usually I use the P226, but I think they're both two shot kills, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm just looking at the things, I'm going to put the P226 on. That's what I usually use, I've never actually used the M9, but I just had it on for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's this is what I usually run right here. This is my first class. Um, the reason I have it at the top of my class selection too, um, during the first 15 seconds of a game, I can be running this class or this class or a slow class. I can be running a sniper class, and if I don't see anybody with my sniper, I'll press start and then AA, and it will switch to this class. It, as long as I don't shoot, use any tacticals, or do anything in the first 15 seconds. If you guys don't didn't know about that, try it out in an S and D match. Run somewhere with a the stub, then switch to an AR class, and just see how it works. But um, yeah, so I just that's why I have it at the top. Next one is my smoke subclass. This one is pretty much reckless. Um, I use it for maps like Octane, where uh, there's a lot of snipers. You know, uh, maps like Warhawk, you can smoke it out, smoke uh, Middle Street out, or B Bomb out, and just push through. And then um, that's mainly what I use it for. Uh, mainly used on Octane, though. It's my regular subclass. You know, um, nothing special. These are oh, and the perks, just so you guys know. Um, th I call them the staple. Uh, these are like the you know necessary uh, or you know. The usual, the usual uh, quick perks for a sub, you know, we got Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence and Focus. Those four perks right there, four, five perks, wow, I'm stupid. Five perks right there, dee, dee, dee. Um, those are the main perks that uh, people use for uh, SMG classes, you know, when they're trying to get around quick. And then I got the extra tactical for double smokes with a smoke grenade, obviously. So um, this is my regular class, you know, same five staple perks, then I got a Semtex and a Concussion. I switch it up, I usually use frags in S and D, um, especially just so uh, they don't hear like the beep, 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 and they can, can't tell exactly where it's coming from. Um, so that's why I usually use frags, but I had a Semtex on, I use Semtexes on Octane, um, that way they blow up a lot quicker, just in case I'm like across map and they're planning bomb or anything I need like quick. Uh, that's the only reason I had a Semtex on, um, just because the last map was Octane. Um, this is my... I don't even know. Oh, this is literally we just use this just when I was playing Fizzler's team because all they do pretty much is smoke the map and run through the smoke. So I was going to use their smokes to my advantage and they run thermal too. So I was going to use the smokes to my advantage, which I had Incog on and then I had Dead Silent Focus, you know, Marathon Ready Up and then Incog and then I had the stun just to throw a stun into the smoke and try to catch one of them off guard, pick him and then, you know, push through the smoke and use it to my advantage. So that's just that was just my ideal, you know. Uh, thing because we on defense I was going gas. Uh, I usually don't go gas, but I was going gas to watch the cross uh, snipe, and they would just double smoke it. So I would figure um, sometimes they do a pawn rush, and just just to stop that I was going to go into gas, throw a stun, and rush them back and counter the rush. So um, that's just what I was going to do. I had this class right here, shotgun. We had a bulldog, you know, muzzle break, extended mags, my pistol, and um, I had agility, marathon. I didn't have ready up on here because I don't aim with my bulldog. 
Then I had Dead Silence, Focus, and then Tack Resist. Um, I was only using this just to get across to B, go up top, and then you just sit up top, uh, top motel, um, kind of like Rambo used to do uh, back when he played S&D on this map, and it was the most annoying thing, so I figured I'd try it out this map. That was the first time I actually did it, and it, it, I got, I think, two kills with it, or two or three kills top motel, so it worked out pretty good, and I got bombed down, so, and we won that round, so it, it worked out pretty good. Um, it's another one of my favorite classes. Uh, it's another fast class uh, AR. Um, this is the TAC Mass AR class that I was showing, trying to say before. Um, ready Up Marathon, Dead Silence Focus with TAC Resist. Um, I use this on maps like Warhawk, uh, just helps people uh, strong arm stun the back of uh, B. You just run this class and they'll usually be rushing you out of post or something. And you just, the second they come out of post, you just light them up. They're not going to expect you to be there. And uh, it's just an easy kill. And then, you know, just my frag grenade and uh, my P226. So. Um, this is LMG Quick. I, LMG Quick class. I use this on maps like Warhawk 2. Um, you can see the whole A cross. Uh, see if anybody goes A. And I just have Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence, Focus. And then I got a Frag Grenade and a MP44-3. It doesn't matter about your pistol. Um, I just use this to get around the map quicker. Um, pretty much it doesn't really matter. I'd pick up strong pistols just in case you do have to use it, like the P226. But um, yeah, just in case you have to use it. And then on this I got the M27, the best uh, LMG in the game, which everybody uses. It's, it's OP-ish as hell and then we got the thermal hybrid scope because thermal in this is just op2 and then a foregrip sometimes i use the silencer sometimes i use long barrel um or muzzle brake it always depends uh i really feel like grip or silencer is the best for this silencer they really can't hear what the hell you're shooting through and then muzzle brake or i mean a grip you know just keeps your shot steady and then i have a frag grenade on it um i got the same thing just the same class as my uh, attack ar class you know um it's just an LMG silencer. I was doing the same thing on Warhawk, and I was doing it also on uh, Freight S&D, and just spraying through the map because they were throwing stuns, heavy stuns, and stuff like that. This is my fast class, uh, sniper class. Sorry, sorry, it's been so boring and so long. I, I mean, that's the only reason I was kind of like iffy about making a S&D class setup video is because I don't really know, feel like it's gonna be that entertaining. I'm kind of just showing you my perks and everything, but uh, you guys wanted to see it, so here it is. But um, um, on this we got Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence, and Focus with a frag grenade, and then the P226. And then I got a USR with chrome line and thermal scope. Pretty much the reason I have a fast class. Obviously, if you guys play SD, you guys know, you guys should know this. Um, just get somewhere really quick and uh, snipe the cross on like Warhawk. Snipe the cross on, uh, or you can snipe bottom Owens from crates. Or there's just a bunch of different places you can snipe from. Uh, you can snipe at B. I can snipe at A. Uh, from almost every map. So on Octane and stuff like that. So that's the reason I had that class fast sniper. Um, you guys probably saw me use it at uh, UGC Niagara. I think I went like 14 and 2 or something, something crazy like that. But um, uh, this right here, I got my Vector CRB. Um, we got a red dot. I usually use the blue dot. Um, I think the blue dot has less recoil. Uh, I know it really doesn't, but in my head it feels like it is, does. I'm just gonna use red dot for now though. Actually, I'm putting on blue dot. My red dot was fucking up last night. Um, well, okay, we got the Semtex. Um, right, right here I got a Semtex. This is just another class. I have question marks because this is just classes I switched up just for the meta of what the other team's using. Um, I noticed the other team was using a lot of smokes, and to counter them, I was going to smoke out, because I feel like they honestly couldn't counter our smokes back. We were playing, uh, they were playing so aggressive on us, and then we switched it up and started playing so aggressive on them, and that's how we caught back into the game in the S&D. We went 5-5. Uh, we did this on Freight. We went 5-5 and eventually lost the game in, in the last round, but I mean, like, we just had to come back from a huge deficit. I think we were down, like, 4-0. We came back and made it 5-5, so... Um, but we had a Semtex, uh, I got double smokes on, uh, smoke grenade with the double smoke class, um, focus, dead silence, and incog. Pretty much they were smoking out the map the whole time, and they were just pushing through it with incog, and we couldn't find them, we couldn't see them, we couldn't do anything about it. So what did I do? I rushed right back through it, smoked out the middle of the map, and tried to make them as confused as hell, and make the game as hectic and random as possible, because they were winning all of their rounds when they were doing it to us, and we weren't winning any of them. So I figured, hey, what's the worst that can happen? We're already losing our rounds. Why not make it random and see who can win the gunfights? Um, and honestly, I don't think they thought I was going to do that, but that's what I did, and uh, I kind of went big on freight. And... Um, yeah, but I mean, eventually we did lose it, like I said, but it was still like a really, really good comeback. Um, but yeah, that's anyways, that's my uh, S&D classes. If you guys really did enjoy this or you guys want to see my Blitz classes possibly or Dom classes, whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. Uh, put it in the comments down below. Let me know. And I'll see you guys later, man. You guys are the best.